I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Um, I've been out here shooting my two Rossi brothers as I call them. The mag right here, the bold action, and also the semi-auto. And we've done a little bit on those already, the videos. I'm not going to be talking about these though. While I was out here I decided, oh what the heck, I'm going to do a little experimenting. I did a review before on my concealed carry, which is this Smith & Wesson right here. It's a SD9VE, and I uh, have it loaded right now with the Fiace self-defense ammo. But uh, what we're going to do is I just want to see a comparison from 10 yards. I'm going to shoot first with a magazine, and these are 15 round magazines by the way. I'm going to shoot a magazine full of uh, Wolf, and that's the steel casings. And I know, a lot of say, oh, don't use those, but this gun's supposed to eat about anything you throw at it, and it seems like it does. I've had two of them now. Sold my other one that I did the review with, and then I went and bought another one. Got a good deal on a gun broker. Got it through there. And um, anyway, then the second one, uh, this is a, they call it a bucket of bullets or something rather like that. Uh, it's Remington. And so we're going to compare the, t uh, the two. Like I said, first, we're going to shoot with the 15 rounds of Wolf, and then the 15 rounds of Remington, and uh, just see if there is a difference. Because I've heard that well, the accuracy is a little bit different. And uh, I'll just see how it works. Uh, get down there. I'm going to shoot at 10 yards, and then we're going to come back. Well, I'm not all that happy with it. Uh, hopefully it's not that gun, because my other one sure seemed to drill a little bit better. Uh, I must have got something on the center. And I think the ones I got, I, I couldn't really see that well. You could. Uh, did have one mishap down here. I don't know. That was the wolf that fired way, way low. And I know I was aiming up into here. Uh, I have no idea. I had a friend that he is high on Wolf 22, uh, John down in Louisiana, and he's another outdoor writer and uh, does a lot of the shooting. You got columns. I got a great column, Uncle John. If you get a chance, check that out, Uncle John. You know, remember that. That's how he goes by, and uh, he does. He's got a lot of good shooting columns. Anyway, he says Wolf 22 is great. The Wolf 9, like I shot here, it goes bang. Um, yeah, it goes bang, and if that's what the problem is, I mean, I wasn't doing too well. Shot way down here, bent my weight. 
Uh, and so I had to take care of that. And then, like I said, then I shot the Remington. And it seems like the Remington, I think I was firing over here quite a bit. Pretty good grouping, but it's a little off to the side. And then I must have got a few of them in here. And uh, again, we got a lot of wind. So, you know, who knows? The wind's even waving here around. But I'm not going to use that as a complete excuse on it. Uh, I really think the Remington ammo, that, that one out over the wolf, without a doubt. And uh, I'll check out a few other ones, too. I know the Viage is pretty good. So, uh, anyway, until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.